Okay, so first off, we're talking about how to use your sheet. By this point, I hope you've uh, at least pulled up the spreadsheet, and you'll see that it has all kinds of exercises. Sorry about my crude drawing, but uh, if I focused in on a sheet, I needed something a little bit bigger, so that's what this whiteboard is for. The first one says push-up. Now, don't worry if you can't do a push-up. I'm going to show you a variation uh, in the, the bottom half of this video of ways you can do push-ups even if you think you can't do push-ups. You see numbers all the way across the top. Those are reps. Now, you know that you're trying to fill out this whole sheet. That's the big deal. I'm just showing you push-up, but your sheet has all the, all the other exercises. Treat every exercise like we're going to show you this. Say you're just going to knock down and see how many push-ups you can do. And somehow you're able to do 12. Perfect. Go over here and mark off the 10 and the two, that's 12 push-ups. All right, you go down and do a few exercises, revisit these push-ups, you're able to do 12 again, that's perfect. Or nine, doesn't matter, six, mark off the six. All right, and so this can be done in any order you want. One plus two plus three plus four plus five equals 15. So let's say I do 15, that's the whole time. I can mark off one through five. Wow, my push-ups seem like they're half done. And so your objective is to take your Excel spreadsheet and eventually, whether it's in one workout or in six workouts, put an X on every single um, a, a block of that spreadsheet of the exercise that you're doing. Now, keep in mind, if, if you have a knee injury or you have something else, you're not going to be able to do the squats. So check with your doctor if you have any doubt at all. That's a very important thing. Don't aggravate an existing injury. Don't do anything to uh, press against pain. It's very important that you stay uninjured because nothing will preclude you from exercising like, uh, you know, you, you want to exercise, but you're hurt, okay? And so, again, start off slow if you haven't been working out, but your job is to see how many workouts it takes you to fill out this entire thing. If you do this whole sheet in six workouts, then your goal next time will be able to do it in five. And by the way, the exercises that I've selected are pretty simple to understand. I'll be going through them in the bottom half of this video, but also uh, ones that uh, if, by, by means of which you will have worked the entire body when you do this, all 12 of these exercises or something close to that. All right, so let's get to what the exercises are. This will be fun. Okay, everybody, let's go through the exercises. First, you see on here the push-up. If you can't do a push-up, there's a modification that you can take advantage of that you certainly can. We've got this little bench here at Paseo Fitness. And you can, if, you, if you don't work out here, you've got something at home, just something to elevate yourself. If you can't do one on the ground, this kind of push-up is perfectly fine. If that's too hard, take it up a notch, but there's some spot where you can do them. You want to make it challenging yet doable. It's no fun if you can't do it. All right, some push-ups. Plain push-ups on your knees, on a bench, anything. If you're super athletic and can do a lot of them, then elevate your feet, whatever. Push-ups can be done by anybody. Dumbbell curls, that's just a couple of dumbbells. Keep your elbows, keep your elbows on the forward side of your rib cage, okay? In other words, this is no good. All right, keep them on the forward side, all right, so that you're not relying on momentum. My sheet just went away. <sighs> squats, again, I would use something to squat too, all right, so that you know that as you fatigue, you're still going down the same amount. That's a squat. If that's too easy for you, then take her down even farther. But you always want to squat to something. Sky reaches. That involves you doing nothing more than lying on your back and reaching for the sky to sit up. If you need something to support your feet, there's nothing wrong with that at all. All right. Leg raises. That's you on your back and Head down on the ground, just lifting these things up. If they're too heavy, straight, then bend them, all right? As you can see, this, the count is 10 to one. Mark them off as you go. I'm starting to breathe just doing this. Okay, um, overhead press, this right here. All right, you, I don't like to put them out here. I like to externally rotate the thumbs a little bit. Uh, that leads to a better posture, but overhead press from your ears straight up. Use a weight that's right for you. I don't care what you use. 10 pounds, unless you get bored, then go to 12 or 15. Um, side left, excuse me, band zombies times 10. What's that mean? Well, that means that if you're doing, say, five, that's actually 50, but they're pulses, so they're quick. Hold on to this thing, retract your scapula. That means pull your shoulder blades together in the back. All right, and from there, we're gonna lift these up as high as we comfortably can and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see how fast they come. So 10 is actually 100. So whatever you do, mark off the box times 10. All right, after that, side leg raises. These are great. Um, what you wanna do is get into a table posture. This is a table. And from here, let's put this leg out at 90 degrees from you, not back here. Back, just right to your side and lift them, one. Two, don't let your foot rest. Three, 
four, five, all right? And then once you've done one side, you do the other side. That's why it says each. Okay, step up. I've got a bench, I brought in a bench here. You can do these as high or as low as you want to, build it way up or keep it down, and you're just gonna step up and bring the other knee up, all the way back down. All right, now, if that's too easy for you, go, oh, that's so remedial, well, then raise the box. And if that's still too easy, put weights in your hand. Believe me, you do both sides, you'll be winded, kind of like I am now. Dumbbell thrusters, dumbbell, dumbbell, all right? Thruster is a squat and a press, it's a compound exercise. Now you're going, it's a little harder, touch your rear end, dumbbells up. That's a dumbbell thruster, that's what DB thruster means. And then finally, bicycles, if you lay down on your back, and you bring the feet up, and you're going one, one, two, two, three, three, all right? And so, because it's each side, it's gonna feel like 20 just to do 10. All right, those are the exercises. I wanna remind you of something. You are in charge of you. You've got two things lifelong, your body and your attention. And when you place your attention on your body, then wonderful things start to happen. And so I hope that if, you, if this doesn't inspire you, uh, then something else does, because there's nothing that gets its reward uh, like physical activity. And to do it in a structured way where you have something to look at, all right, you'll find that there's a certain reward that it's uh, hard to get anywhere else. If, you can, if I can do anything for you, you let me know. I'll look forward to finding out how you did.